and welcome back to my channel. Um, what I'm going to do today is a get ready with me, all Primark makeup. Um, I'm currently pretty bare right now. I've got nothing on. So we're just going to go right in and get started. Right, so th first up is the rose water that I previously used in my other Primark makeup. Um, this stuff's really nice. Smells be two pound this one was. So I'll just and then what I'll go in with next. I'm gonna do my eyes first, I think. So I will zoom you in a little bit. So first things up is I had this ages ago, it's just the nudes concealer from Primark again. Literally pop that over my eyes. <laughs> Then what I'll go in with is the Colour Grid Eyeshadow Palette. Um, again, I used this in my previous Primark makeup. I'm going to try and do like an ombre kind of eye, but I mean, I told you this before, I'm not very good at makeup, but let's see. Right, I've moved you up a little bit now, so hopefully you can see. I may have to keep looking down at the mirror, though, to do my eyes, but I'll try and look down as much as I can. So, first up, I'm going to try and go in with... I'm going to try and do, like, a mixture of this and this one. So, these two. towards the lid and then out to the sides a little bit this color is really nice if you have blue eyes because it just brings out the blue even more then what i am going to go in with then is and then i'm going to go for a bit of a dark color so let's go for okay i'm going to go for this bottom one and just do these on the ends. Okay, I'm just going to try and blend that out a little bit. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I know, I probably. This is not the way to do it, but I've tried so many tutorials on how to do it, and you know you what, just got to keep learning. I'm going to try and do a cut crease. If any of you guys recommend any videos or can point you in the right direction on how to do this, let me know. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to go in with the lightest colour that I have, which is the matte kind of, it's kind of white, kind of cream, just so that this doesn't crease. Let's just stick that on there. I'm going to try and blend this out a little bit at the ends. So it's not so intense. Okay. Then. What I'm going to try and do is blend it out a little bit towards the ends. So I'm probably going to go in with. I might go in with this light matte colour. And just. I want to try and make it a little bit more darker along this top bit. So what I'm going to go in with then, I'm, I might go in with like a metallic-y colour, what do you think? 
just a bit of glitter. Let's go with the... Oh my god, this is such a hard decision. I'm going to go in with the... This one. So it's kind of like a metallic-y, pinky colour. Look at what you think. I mean, it's not by any means perfect, but I'm actually really impressed. I'm going to do the under eyes later once I've done my foundation. So let's go in now with the double coverage matte foundation love this stuff i actually think even more than my estee lauder if i'm really honest with you and now i've got a bit of tan to my face as well this is literally like the perfect color for me before it was a little bit too dark but now perfect <laughs> Then I will literally just buff it out with this brush. Sometimes when I use a beauty blender, it can just sometimes leave. You know, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but when you're like dabbing it on, it can leave like lines on your face. So I just like buffing it out with this. Right, so I'm gonna try and do under the eyes got this little brush and I really like it because it just perfectly goes under the eyes. I'm going to go in with the... I'm going to go the dark one, I think. And then... I think you're going to love this. This is the Gold Luster Highlighter. This was three pounds. So I use this for my inner corners and it's so glowy. I love it. What do you think? Oh my God, I actually love it. Oh my God, I do. So now we've done that, I'm going to go in with the, actually I'm going to zoom you out first. Oh, not in. <laughs> right. So what I got next was, I've actually never used this one before. This is the foundation and concealer, oh wait, sorry, no it's not. It's a foundation and contour stick. I actually use this as a concealer. This is in the shade Nude. Ah, I literally look like I'm a mad woman. Right, let's blend this in. I don't know why I'm holding my head. <laughs> I just feel a bit scared. really really light outside so i can't really show you it's not really i think it's okay like the skin actually looks flawless to be honest it looks really it's really matte to be honest so what i'll go in with next is the bronze glow matte bronzing powder in the shade fearless two pounds as i was saying the bronzer literally Buff that into my cheeks. Make me look like a little brat. Oh my god, I've just put a spot on my head. Bronze little goddess. I'll also use a little brush and this one again and then just contour my nose a tad. So whilst I was there, I thought I would buy a blusher. This is, it's called Blush High Pigment Blusher, one pounds, and it's in the shade Rosewood. I think they only had about two shades. It was either this kind of shade, or I think it was like a really pinky one, I can't quite remember. But I actually tried this yesterday, and it is 
so pigmented I need to try and find the right brush for this because yesterday I didn't use the right one just because I don't want to look like Aunt Sally I don't know if anyone's ever watched that I might be <laughs> this is off the show the Wurzel no Wurzel Gummidge that was it this was from like years ago and I used to love it when I was little I'm only 25, do you know what I mean? But I'm going to be 25, but... Oh my god, I just put too much on. Oh god! Right, let me just... Buff it. Right, that's all we use in that bad boy. Really good though. Next up, I will go in with the... So this is the highlighter. This is the Glow Wand Highlighter. I can't. I, I'm pretty sure the name of this was like Champagne or something along those lines. There was only like two colours of this. It was either like this, this colour. I don't know if you can see. It was either like this colour or there was another colour. Um, that was. I think it was like really really hot. I don't even know how to even say it but it's got oh my god look at this little end oh my god did she squeeze it that is so satisfying right I'm gonna just make three little dots because I don't wanna don't wanna put too much on I'm a bit scared if I'm honest right let's Dab it in with this. Okay. Maybe I should have put it on a brush. Maybe do it on a brush instead of dabbing. Because otherwise it might leave a few like dots. Don't know if you can see. Right, let me try it on here. really glowy too glowy just right okay what i'm gonna go in now with is the setting mist this is the prep and perfect mattifying setting um this was four pounds um and it's really weird at the bottom it's like white let me just shake it oh, right ready Oh my god, this smells like coconuts. That smells amazing. What I'll go in with is to do the... Let's go do the brows. I mean, again, I've already told you this in the other makeup vid. I am not the most amazing at brows because my brows are awful. I really want to get them microbraided, but I just... I'm a little bit scared. You know just in case anything goes wrong or what if they do the wrong shape i'll just be heartbroken if it looks really bad <laughs> So the brows are done. I'm just going to do a little highlight underneath the brows, I think. So I'll go in again with my highlighter palette. Okay, right, let's go with that. And now what we'll go in with is the... Okay, we'll go in with the mascara. So this is the Falsh... Oh, false <laughs> false lash queen three pounds this is the brush mascara the other there's a few other ones but they're all um like rubber brushes um i mean i'm not really a fan but i i tried this out yesterday i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm not really impressed 
my mum's got another one to this that I again used in the other Primark one that's so much better. <laughs> Right, I suppose. Do you know what I mean? For three, is it three pounds? Yeah, three pounds. You can't really moan. Okay, what I'll do is I will wait for that to dry, and then I'm going to put some falsies on. In the meantime, I will do the lippy. So I got this lip liner with the makeup set that I used last time. Um, it's going to be oh god, it's going to be really pale. Right, and this is kind of blending in with the foundation, which I really didn't want, but I told you I was going to do Primark, and this is the only Primark one I've got. Right, let's just do an outline anyway. And then what I also bought yesterday was the Lustre. Don't know what shade this is. Oh, Secrecy. Um, I don't think this is a, um, this is not matte, I don't think. Perfect. Right. What I'll do, let me zoom you back out. Oh, not in. Right, what I'm gonna do is just um pop on some eyelashes and then I will show you the finished look. Just before I do put them on, I just want to show you them in the packet because they look so gorgeous. It's the 3D Allure Allure Intense Lashes, and this one has glue included but look how lovely they are right i've managed to get the eyelashes on however <laughs> it's really weird when you put them on because they're like they're like they go on your lashes straight and i don't i don't really know how to explain it if i'm honest with you but it literally sits on my lashes straight like they should curl up but they don't they go straight but i've cut off too much of it so i'm sorry it looks a bit dodge but um this is pretty much the finished look the only thing that i was going to do is just put a bit more highlighter on my cheeks but yeah this is the finished look what do you think let me know in the comments below but yeah, if you like this kind of video, um, give me a big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe. Take care, bye.